What's going on, everyone? It's your favorite Jealous Hater APOC, and welcome to the most positive and uplifting channel on the platform. So, a week or two ago, I talked about this family channel called Yawi Vlogs, who clickbaited their 13 year old daughter's period. They straight up filmed it, cut it up on their MacBook Pro, and uploaded it to the world. Gross. And on top of all that garbage, they made sure to get that vlog filler before handling anything, which, in my humble opinion, shows what kind of people they are money first privacy and hygiene second and from what i have seen thus far they may be one of the worst family channels i have ever seen on the platform and that says a lot from all the scum i've covered on this channel now in today's vlog breakdown we're going to be looking at a two-part series where one of their children actually does get hurt but just like that period vlog nothing happens until after the vlog filler okay grab your macchiato frappos or whatever the hell y'all drink so before we dive deep i just wanted to mention something that i noticed with the yaoi vlogs that i haven't really seen in any other channel the parents are not the only ones who run around with the vlog camera the kids are in it, even the youngest of them. Which blew my mind because usually the parents are at the helm. They run the show. And another thing that blew my mind is that the parents actually make their kids do shit. Which is a good thing, I can't really argue with that. I don't know, it's just weird to see kids do shit on vlogs. But moving forward, here's the premise of today's video. So per use, I cut out all the dribble because there's a lot of dribble in this vlog. I'm not dad challenge podcast, I don't keep all that in. So the parents are out on a retreat or whatever. And all their kids, they got seven kids by the way, all the kids are at home. And all the kids ended up going to the park. Where the youngest hit his head or something, actually gets a concussion. But before anybody does anything, they wait for the parents to come home to handle it, even though his older sister siblings were more than capable of taking him to the hospital but they decide to do other things and the older daughter giving the mom a call is where we're going to start this video asbury is throwing up right now no yeah. so right now. did daddy tell you about him falling off the swing and oh, stuff at the park Okay, so that's what happened. He fell off the swing or something. But I just don't get why the parents didn't tell their older kids to take him to the hospital. I got off the phone with Allie and we have been away at a couple's retreat. And I don't even know really the details. Johnny, something happened with Az. How do you not know the details when you just got off the phone with your daughter and she actively just told you of what happened? This is obvious vlog filler. They're just trying to make more runtime more for the vlog to make more money off of their son getting hurt. There's no need for this. So Ali called just now and said as was throwing up, throwing up is a sign of, is another sign of um, a concussion. So let's get some perspective. Their son's hurt, he's vomiting, there's all these other symptoms. Yet instead of rushing home, they are taking their sweet ass time to vlog about the situation, not knowing whether their son actually has a concussion yet or not. He does though, he does have a concussion. So them being far away from their kid, they're taking time to make sure they vlog this whole process so that they can again make money off their son getting hurt. And so, uh, that's not good. Uh, you think so? Not close to home at this moment, so we gotta hurry and get home. And we're throwing everything in bags and we it's gotta done. get we're home. Back. Let's get out of here. Okay. Oh yeah, you guys look like you're in a real rush to get home. Taking your sweet ass time vlogging. What the f out of here um it is two o'clock and i am going to make my friend matthew some cookies and then take him over to his house so this is one thing that bothered me within this video is that this girl has a friend or whatever he broke his hand or something i don't know the full scope of it because i don't watch their whole channel but this girl straight up decides to bake her friend a batch of cookies and drive them out instead of driving her brother who has a concussion to the in hospital and then later on proves that she actually didn't really give a shit because i still feel so bad about him breaking his hand feels bad about her friend breaking his hand who's fine but not her brother who actively has a concussion these vlog kids are gonna be worse than the parents this is the part where i start telling myself if i was there nothing would have happened this wouldn't have happened if i was at home knowing 
that that's not true, that I can't make things not happen. But No, but what you could make happen is put down the camera and get home so you can take your son to the hospital. How do these people have fans? How do people not see this or call this out? She's doing a little montage of her leaving the hotel. How is anybody okay with this? It's this distortion that I tell myself to, to guilt myself to for leaving, for doing something to strengthen us. Damn those burdens who gave us everything. I know I can't prevent things from happening, kids can, from getting hurt. I guess it's just the guilt of we're so far away. We can't get there right the second. We can't be helping him. We can't be taking him to the doctor right the second. Actually, you could. You have two older kids who can take your son to the hospital right now. In fact, your daughter is actively baking a batch of cookies to take to her friend instead of taking her brother to the hospital. And early in the vlog, I cut this out. Again, I cut out all the dribble because I don't give a damn about the kids mowing the lawn. But the older son was there. He was there at the park. He left later on after the park i don't know what he was doing but he just disappeared it seems like this kid is just left in his own world and everyone else is just doing their thing if you didn't know he hit his head if he didn't tell you yet he hit his head um yeah i kind of got the memo already like 10 times um at the park he fell off the swing his feet got caught and he fell off the swing mm -hmm. and so that's why he's been puking and stuff like that i think that's why because he hit his head god the vlog filler drives me insane hi hi How's he doing? He's doing good. On the floor. That kid is not doing good. Look at him. He's basically in the fetal position. He needs to go to the damn doctors or the hospital. Take him to the damn emergency room. She's doing this and she's baking cookies. She's baking cookies instead of taking her little brother. Who's huddled up into a little ball. He's clearly not okay. And let's get some more perspective here. The mom? It has her phone and has the camera up to her phone in a FaceTime call with her daughter about her son who has a concussion. Just think about that for a minute. The mom made sure she took time, not even just vlogging, but vlogging her FaceTime call with her daughter to check up on her son. She can't even check up on her son without trying to monetize it, without trying to make money. These people are sick. Oh man. Oh man, I wish I was there for more vlog filler. Okay, your head just kind of feels like it's pounding. Okay. Why don't you get a pillow and lay down, but don't go to sleep, okay? That's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. Hey, little Jimmy, you got a concussion? Well, here's a pillow, here's a blanket, but don't fall asleep. Is she fucking brain dead? Is she serious here? Who tells their kid to do that when he might have a concussion? Have someone stay by you. Just don't let him, don't let him do like a ton of head movement. Just let him, just he needs to relax but not go to sleep, okay? Yeah, I don't get why they don't make their son come home and make sure that the kid doesn't fall asleep and not put this big responsibility on their younger siblings. It's insane. What's more important than your family's own health? Hi, are you at home? No, I'm going home right now though. Oh well, I guess she did take those cookies then, huh? Okay, um, we talked to Az's doctor and he needs to go to the emergency room. Oh. Oh, this is what I was talking about earlier, where I say she didn't give a damn. She gets told that her little brother has to go to the hospital, and her reaction is, oh, really? It is clear as day that she did not care. So, will you get him ready to go so that we can just come and grab him when we get there? Yeah, you know, in your time, when you feel like it. I feel so bad. <laughs> He has a cast and everything. I'm just like, ugh. But mommy and daddy just FaceTimed me saying that Asbury needs to go to the emergency room. And so I have to get him ready. So I'm going to hurry and I'm running home right now. Oh, yeah. You look just as worried as your mom does. Instead of rushing those cookies, sister, you should have rushed to take your brother to the hospital. Pretty sure I'm bad luck, guys. It's been two days and these past two days two people that i know have gone to the hospital I had to go to the hospital because i was there you were there at the park but you weren't there to take him to the hospital because you were too busy dropping off cookies and i understand that i'm repeating myself but i'm going to make this a point that this girl chose to drop off cookies to somebody who just had a broken hand so obviously they're fine she just feels bad and wants to give them a treat or something and she chose to do that instead of taking care of her younger brother so where where did you hit when you fell oh you hit the front of your head he like Bumped his head. Like, hold on, like, hold on, let me talk. Pretty hard. Oh man, I feel like I'm watching an OK Baby vlog, shoving the camera in the kid's face when they're in pain. It made me so scared. Oh, look at this lovely family moment. It's almost like it's real. Mommy, 
Hmm? Am I going to die? Whoa, Oaz just bonked his head on the camera. Yeah. Man, that kid is accent pro, isn't he? But hey, you know, maybe the camera wouldn't be there if you weren't vlogging the situation. You vloggers ever think about that? Nope, because your selfish, greedy bastards can't even focus on making sure your kid's okay. Gotta make sure every moment is monetized, even down to privacy, pain, and even death. Hey, bye everybody. When I come back, I'll have no ears. No, they take your <laughs> nose. That's what it is. Oh, that's right. This surgery is, is just nose. They do have to shave your head, though, just to check things out. Is that all right with you? No. Jesus, the kid looks fucking petrified here. Give him a damn break. You're already late to the party. But the first thing mommy and daddy do when they get home is tell him that he's going to lose his ears, his nose, and his hair. Great parenting. Yeah, pretty sure that's not going to scare the shit out of him. I'm just kidding. They won't really do anything that's going to hurt you at all. No, yeah. That should have been the first thing said to him. Are you okay, buddy? You're still awake, right? Hey, Az, you need to open your eyes and stay awake. Yep, there you go. You can't fall asleep, okay? Stay awake, buddy. Jesus Christ, lady. Put down the camera and tend to your child. He's actively falling asleep in front of you. And you're just sitting there filming it. What is wrong with this chick? He's got a concussion. 100% he's from the concussion. Hang out with us here for a couple more hours. Just keep an eye on him. Make sure he's still feeling well. Make sure he's not vomiting anymore. Make sure that he's not getting... Oh, here come the cinematics. <laughs> Here we go again, filming yourself on your phone. They can't even have FaceTime calls or voice calls or texting. They can't even text their children without wanting to make it vlog filler. Just think about that. Where is everybody? Where well, Give him a hug. Um, yeah, again, cutting out the dribble because it's just more repetitive bullshit. Guys, it's an incredible miracle. As is feeling just great i think the blessing helped him what do you guys think yeah i actually do think it's a miracle because y'all took forever vlogging to take your son to the damn hospital like it was scary earlier but now it's like oh here's our family eating and doing our thing oh yeah y'all looked real scared taking your sweet ass time vlogging your process home yeah it's amazing he really he was bad. He... Oh, yeah, we saw. Look at all those doctors and nurses and just going, man, they kind of see the worst of the worst and they still just put a smile on their face. And anyway, they're just awesome. Doctors just and nurses are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. They just really just do an incredible job. Yeah, and the sad part is those people who work their asses off in the medical field don't get paid dick compared to vloggers who just pick up a camera and film their daughter's period hauls. Anyways, all you jealous haters, that's about it. Not really much else to say. Other than that, the parents didn't really seem to actually care about their kids' well-being. Otherwise, you would have never seen this online and pushed out for money. And obviously, the eldest son and daughter shouldn't be left alone and watch their siblings because clearly they cannot handle the responsibility in conclusion listen guys never ever forget we love you and you are worth it and bye guys